Here is our plan section for our fruity freeze example. So it talks about, this is just our problem itself, um, and it talks about um, things that we had a quick look at before, and I'm going to come back to this information. So here is our information that we need to actually put together in our plan. So the first thing that we need to know is we need to describe our method in enough detail. We need to clearly define a trial, show how to record the results, and describe how you will know when a trial is completed. So I'm going to start off by looking at my tool. And for me, I'm going to use Google Sheets as my tool, um, and I'm going to use the random number generator. Um, in Google Sheets. I could also use Excel, a graphics calculator, um, a spinner, there's all sorts of other tools that I could use, but this is the particular one that I'm going to use. Um, now I need to look at what my different outcomes are, so I'm just going to refer back to the previous page here, and I've got my different outcomes as shown in that little table there. So I've got my four outcomes, apple, pineapple, grape and strawberry, and the four probabilities that go with those. So that's what I want to do first. Um, so my outcomes were apple, oh, change to the pen, um, apple, pineapple, um, grape and strawberry. And the chance that each of those occurs is 0.3 or 0 0.4, 0.3, 0.2, and 1.1. So 0.4, 0.3, 0.2, and 0.1. Okay, so what I now need to do is decide on the random number allocation. So I'm just going to make a little note down the bottom here. If I take the decimal 0 0.4, then that is the same as 4 out of 10. So that tells me to for the apple symbol, I need to recall, I need to have in total for all of these, I need to have 10 random numbers. Okay, so that's how many random numbers I need. Now for apple, apple needs four of those. So that tells me I need to allocate four of those numbers to the apple category. So if I generate 10 random numbers, that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. I need to allocate four of those numbers. So I'm just going to take the first four and allocate that. So Apple is going to have the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then I'm going to take Pineapple. So Pineapple has a probability of 0 0.3, which is the same as 3 out of 10. So I need to allocate three random numbers to that category. So I'm going to take the next three random numbers, and that is what I'm going to allocate to pineapple. So that's going to be numbers 5, 6, and 7. Then I take um, my grape. Grape has a probability of 0 0.2, which is as a fraction 2 out of 10. So I need to allocate two random numbers. So I'm going to allocate the next two random numbers. And so that's going to be 8 and 9. And strawberry is 0 0.1, which is 1 out of 10. So I need to allocate the last random number, which is the number 10. So now I've allocated all of those random numbers so that there's the right number of numbers in each category to match the probability. So it means the equation that I'm going to use um, is rand between... And I'm going to say a random number between 1 and 10. And in terms of the number of trials, I want to do 50 trials. Okay, so that's so far. Now what I need to do is the really important part, and this is the part where students often lose their marks, um, is if you don't get the description of the simulation correct, this is where we failed you in the previous one. Okay. So let's think about what one trial consists of, because that's what we've got to define. We've got to define one trial. So let's think about for a moment, what would the setup of our um, data look like? So I would have a spreadsheet, and I would have my trials coming down in the bottom, and I'd have my trial one, two, three, four, 
all the way down to trial number 50. Then, let me go back to the definition of the problem. It tells me that Grace is going to buy an ice block every day until she gets a set of four different symbols. And if she gets a set of the four, she's going to stop buying them. Otherwise, she's going to keep buying them, up, but only up till 10 days worth of them. So let's think about what it is that she is doing. She is going in and buying an ice block. So that is what we are trying to simulate, is the buying of the ice block. So I'm going to say here, ice block number one. And I want to generate, I'm going to have columns going up to ice block number 10. Okay. Now I might not use all of those numbers. Because remember, she's going to, she wants to get all four symbols. Our apple, pineapple, grape and strawberry. Um, but so she, if she happens to say ice block number one was grape, ice block two was strawberry, then she got um, a pineapple and then she got an apple and those were the first four ice blocks she got. That means in total she would only buy four ice blocks. She wouldn't need to buy any more because she's got all four symbols. However, if she did grape, 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 pineapple, apple, um, strawberry, she might take all 10 before she gets all four symbols. All right. So this is what we've got to think about when we define a trial. So one trial is um, when I generate random numbers until either, now there's two possibilities, either all four symbols are gained or until a maximum of 10 ice blocks are bought. And I'm going to do whichever happens first. So if I get all four ice blocks first, then I stop. If I get 10 ice blocks um, first, then I stop. So whichever of these things happens first, that's what I'm going to do. And so in that I've got my definition of what a um, trial is, including the finishing point. Okay, so let's have a look at um, what else I would need to do. I also need to justify, for my merit, I need to justify the allocation of numbers, of random numbers. Okay, so I'm going to start, I start with having the numbers 1 to 4. So that was my first one, Apple was assigned the numbers 1 to 4. Okay, so that was assigned to an apple symbol because um, the probability of getting an apple symbol um, is 0.4. And that's equal to 4 out of 10. Um, so if I generate 10 random numbers, I need to assign 4 of them to this category. To match the probability. Okay, then so that's justifying the first symbol, which is the apple one. I then need to do the same kind of thing for pineapple, grape, and strawberry. Okay, so I would have numbers five to seven, 
um, that was allocated to pineapple because and then there was eight and nine and number ten and that was our grape and our strawberry and I would need to define those in a similar way so let's just double check against our marking schedule so for the achieved we need to first of all identify an appropriate tool okay let's have a look at what would that would be an appropriate tool well I've said here that I'm going to use Google Sheets and I'm going to use the formula ran between so those two things together that is my appropriate tool okay then I need to have allocated random numbers correctly so that would be this part of my table here that I've randomly I've allocated those random numbers correctly so that, that I've done both those two things so I've completed that category um, thing on my marking schedule the next one is I need a description of a trial and it must include the finishing point so let's have a look so one trial is when I generate random numbers until either all four symbols are gained or until there's a maximum of ice pop. So there is my um, end point until a maximum of 10 or until either all four symbols. Okay, and I'm generating random numbers until that. So that means that in terms of this, my description of trial, including the finishing point, has been met. Have I stated how many trials that I'm going to do? So in this case, I've said yes, the number of trials that I'm going to do is 50. So I've got that in there. So I've completed the requirements for achieved for the plan section. And for the merit, I need to add in the allocation of probabilities to outcome has been clearly explained. And that's what this page here is. So if I was to finish all of those things, I haven't quite finished, I've only done the first one. But if I did all four of those, then that is my uh, merit that I've explained that allocation.